Hello fellow Avair users. I'm going to quickly show how to set up some useful data fields at the top of our display in Avair. So let's go to Avair. You'll see in my current screen that there's nothing at the top. If I move my finger around, uh, all I do is pan the screen or pinch and, and uh, zoom. Um, I do have an active flight plan currently loaded. Um, but what I don't have is any pertinent flight information, which can be added in Avair quite simply. If you go into Menu, Preferences, and then into your Application State, there's an option for using dynamic fields, which I happen to have turned on, which is what you want. So this is the box here. Make sure that's checked. If you go back now to your main screen, and click in the upper left hand corner or anywhere at the top of the screen. I'll pick the upper left hand corner. Double click there. You'll get a list of 21 different data elements that you can add in the two ribbons at the top of the screen on your map screen. So I like to configure mine like uh, as close as I can get to kind of a six pack. So I'll start with uh, the ground speed, which is as close thing as I can get to an airspeed indicator. And then right below that, I will add a clock, which is Greenwich Mean Time. Okay. Next field over, I'll add a course deviation indicator. Which is here. And then below that, I will add track, which will kind of simulate a DG or a heading in the GPS world. Okay. Next up, I'll do something that's close to an altimeter, which is basically just our GPS altitude. They call it MSL altitude. So I'll click that. And then below that, we'll do vertical speed which would be the same as we would have on a normal steam gauge. So VSI, vertical speed indicator. And that rounds out kind of what I call my GPS six pack. On the next uh, side, on the right hand side, there's six more fields that you can add. So these again are all personal preference. I have uh, several left out of the 21, obviously. So um, I'll take and for the 15 that are left, the next field over, I'll do next ID or destination ID, which is this one here. And that should be up above. I clicked in the wrong spot, so I'll go back up here. I'll take that off, say none. So to make sure it's available to me, I'll have to click again up here. Destination identifier, there it is. Okay. Next down from that will be distance to the destination or distance to the waypoint, whatever you happen to have left in your flight plan. So it's called distance to destination. Bearing to next, it's just called bearing. It shows up as bearing to next. And then below that, we've got estimated time and route. And a couple that I like to use just for fun. In the upper right, I'll add an odometer, which will keep a running total of your nautical miles traveled. And then below that, we'll add a Hobbs meter, which will keep track of our flight time. Okay, and just like that, you've configured some very useful information um, on the bars across the top of the display. Now to lock those in so you don't accidentally change them, go back into your application state again. And now take the dynamic off, unclick that box. So the fields will remain, but you won't be able to edit them now. If I click in this area, as you can see, nothing's happening. Okay, nothing happens. Now, in the case of say odometer or flight time, those accumulate. If you wanna reset those, you would have to go back into your application state Check out the dynamic fields, go back to that field that you want to reset. And in this case, 
you would just press and hold onto the field. In this case, I'll press an odometer, nothing will change. But if you press and hold, that would reset to zero. Um, I, I, in a previous state, before I had reset everything here, I had 400 and something nautical miles logged. And when I pressed and held there in that spot, it reset it to the current zero. So anyway, just a quick and dirty way to set up the top menu bar. I don't think it's uh, very well explained in the Avera tutorials. So hopefully this will help you add some useful information to your navigational charts and your moving map. Good luck.